All right, man. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Pi Kills. I'm just going to man get straight to the point, bro. We're at 21. What the game really needs, man. Um, I made a video like this, like, literally um, a month ago, bro. And I haven't uploaded in a month just because I just, just been busy with life, man. I just, I'm going to be honest, man. I've been sick, bro. No, I don't have COVID-19. It's allergy fucking season. So, I've just been fucking sneezing my ass off every day, bro. Fucking hurts, bro. But let's go around this video, man. So, like, this video is gonna get people mad, bro. I don't wanna make no one mad. So, if you fucking disagree with my opinion, bro, please do not fucking bash on me, bro. Have some fucking respect, bro. Like, every single time, y'all y'all people get so offended so quickly, bro. Y'all be disrespecting me by disliking the video just because I have a different opinion than you. Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> but, anyways, man, let's go around this video, bro. So, I. I this is not really a feature, bro. I got, like, three different points I wanna get across in this video. I'm gonna go straight into this. I really want them to make a game that's casual friendly. Um, and if you don't want, don't want to, I mean, bro, that means we're like just like a normal person, like a casual player, can just hop on and have fun. And by that, you don't have to be a hockey fan or whatever. And I'm gonna give you guys a few examples, bro. I feel like you know what I'm talking about. Casual friendly games. NBA 2K is a great example of that. Like you do not need to be a basketball fan to play NBA 2K and have fun. Um, it makes it better, obviously, but you know what I'm, I feel like no, no one really plays like EA NHL if you really think about it, bro. Like, just, like, just, just, just do, just close your eyes, bro. Even pause the video. Think about it. Do people really play EA NHL? Barely, bro. Like, when I, when I go to school, bro, probably my, I like 600 people that go to my school. I'm probably like the only guy that actually plays the game religiously, bro. I, I don't, and I don't blame nobody because the game's dog shit. No offense to EA. Like, I really hope EA just hears me out and doesn't, don't get their feelings hurt, but like, how the heck is this game casual friendly when like even the tryhard players hate the game? Like, we hate the game. No one wants to play a huh fucking every single year. Y'all only give a shit about huh, bro. You have other game modes y'all could be working on. You have so much potential to make this game good. You, and I'm surprised like the NHL, like I, I'm surprised that the NHL doesn't even give a shit either, bro, because Y'all don't realize the power of video games. Like, NHL is such a big game. It's such a... Like, people think NHL is small. It's such a big game. It's an international fucking game, bro. People know hockey. People know hockey. People just don't want to talk about it, but everyone knows hockey. But people don't know in the video game industry because, like, ENHL sucks, bro. They have so much potential to make this game good, but this game could become the next... Like, it could become potentially, like, with the great... Like, with the other games, like Madden and shit. Like, I know Madden and other games don't have necessarily good features about them, but at least they're fucking popular and, like, the player base isn't dead half, like, halfway through the year. But there's so much potential to make this a good game. Literally, the features are right in front of them. You have fucking franchise mode. You have BO Pro. You have EACHL. You don't need fucking HUD to make this game good. Like, my nigga, no one wants to fucking play hockey on the team. Like, a casual player. Like, I know this because I used to be a casual player, bro. Like, the only, like, the only reason why I even play hockey on the team is to make videos on that shit, bro. And th this year, I didn't even play Hockey with the Ultimate Team. This year, like, I said, fuck this. I'm not selling my soul. I'm not fucking, like, I'm not playing Hockey with Ultimate Team. And I barely made NHL 20 videos this year because I, I was done with uh, Hot this year. But I got so fed up with that shit so quickly, bro. Like, I, I'm, I'm just pissed because, like, y'all got to realize, like, a casual player, like, people's time spans in, in nowadays is so short. Like, no one wants to play, like... Online verse, no one wants to play a 30 minute game online verse. I'm sorry, but like, especially when like the ice looks like shit. First of all, the graphics aren't even good. The gameplay's decent, but it gets boring quickly. No one wants to play a 30 minute 30 minute game, bro. My nigga, people got jobs, people got work, people got shit. Like, people have such short time spans these days. No one wants to play a 30 minute game. And when they finish that game, they're probably gonna head off. No one wants to play back to back games. Make that game shorter, bro. Add three on three arcade like hockey threes in my opinion uh, whatever like um that little hockey threes is actually a good game mode but all in verse make that shit shorter bro don't make it 30 minutes make it like 10 minutes bro even 10 minutes is long bro like make it shorter bro um so it's casual friendly add better shit for be a pro add story mode y'all don't realize y'all can make be a pro such a big game mode have a pretty good story look at NBA 2K look at FIFA bro they got good stories. This, you want to make a good story, but if you don't have ideas, let me give you a good story, bro. Have a have a hockey kid that is broke as fuck. He can't play the game because hockey equipment costs a lot of money, but he's re he's really good at the game. And I like an emotional story around that, bro. Just add something where people can relate to it, bro. Like, just make a good story. Make an emotional story. First of all, you got to make an emotional story. It's not that hard to make a good story mode, bro. Go hire a fucking librarian, bro, and I bet you he'll tell you a good story. Like, it's not that hard to make a good beer pro story. 
Y'all make a good beer pro story. This game could be big. People, y'all gotta realize that ho Hockey Ultimate Team is not gonna be the future of NHL. It's gonna be beer pro. It's gonna be franchise mode. It's gonna be ESHL. Mainly, in my opinion, it's gonna be ESHL and beer the pro because those are some big game modes. Look at what NBA t shit. Fucking copy NBA 2K if you have to, bro. I don't give a shit. Fucking control V that shit on. I don't give a shit. Y'all gotta realize that NBA 2K is not big because of their their uh, ultimate team. No one fucking like people only like the YouTubers and shit play that and like other players that really like are tryhards. People play my park and shit because that shit's fun. ESH is just like my park, bro. It's just like that. Have like outdoor rings where you can play on outdoor rings, 3v3s, 4v4s, whatever. Make an entire like outdoor ring system, like a park, but just like a hockey ring. Connect that with be a pro. Like be like you have to make a be a pro character and you, you upgrade your character to like overalls and shit. Like I actually make that shit like I watch Nash's videos. Uh, he's a great YouTuber. Y'all know Nash. That guy's the pioneer of the NHL community, bro. Put the shit on the map. Watch his beer post series. It's it is not like it's pretty fun, but you know it can get boring sometimes. Not even that. It's not. He can't even fix it, bro. I know he's trying to. He's making beer pro videos, but you gotta realize like that shit low key kind of boring. No offense to Nash though. He makes it interesting though because he edits and shit. But like, he makes it interesting. Not the fucking game, bro. Like, he he's making like when Nash plays beer pro when he makes those videos. Y'all not going there to watch be a pro, bro. Not y'all watching Nasher. That's sad. That's sad for E NHL. The gameplay is so bad that Nasher has to sweat his ass off to edit that shit and make it look interesting, bro. A YouTuber should not have to fucking sweat his ass off, edit like crazy, to make the game look interesting. That's not how this shit works, bro. A game should help. Like you know what I'm trying to say? Is this sad, bro? It's sad because this shit. Like th this game has so much potential. Next thing they gotta add, man, I know I got a little fed up there, I got toxic, I promise I won't get toxic, but it happens when you get pissed. Next thing they gotta add, in my opinion, is crossplay, in my opinion, I don't know how they're gonna do this, because there's probably no way, crossplay is probably gonna come in like six years, but if they add crossplay, bro, it helped the game grow, because you got, because the, since the player base is already so small, it connects the player base a bit more, you add crossplay to the game, you're connecting the player base, I know there could be problems with servers and shit, but who gives a fuck, make it work, man, y'all fucking, y'all, EA, you're millionaire company y'all can make it fucking work stop fucking putting the fucking money up your ass get the fuck get that shit out of your ass and start spending it on the game bro please i hope i hope like i know like it seems like i'm attacking ea but i just want a good game like i'm on their side i'm not trying to put them down it's just it's just it's just um it's just criticism it's just criticism i'm not trying to put them down like i know they work hard bro but it's like the results aren't showing man like I, 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 I thought NHL 21, 2020, 20, pardon me, was going to be a good game. It was a pretty decent game for like the first two months, but that's, it just goes like that. They make like a good ass game for two months and then that shit goes downhill, bro. Like I, like, it's just crazy how like games these days, like with all the technology they have, games these days have like a, a game good for two months and then it goes completely dog shit, bro. Like, remember back in the day, you're playing Black Ops 2 or whatever, NHL 14, those old-ass games, bro. Less talk now, less technology back then, by the way, and the games were so fucking good, bro. I don't know what they need to do, bro, because it seems like no matter how many fucking options we give them, they'll never fucking listen to us, bro. By the time they listen to us, we're going to be dead, bro. But, like, I really do hope, like, I wish nothing but the best for EA, man. I really do hope y'all make a good game because it's like... You feel me? You guys had a good game, bro. It's like... Just try to focus on the casuals, bro. Try to, like, focus on that little stuff. Don't focus on Hockey Ultimate Team, man. Put that shit aside, bro. Like, I know that's your main source of income is Hockey Ultimate Team. Maybe put your fucking... Put the money aside, but I know it's a business. But try to look at the bigger picture here. Like, try to look at the bigger picture. Look at... You already... You don't need to add a new game. Like, obviously, add GM Connected. But you don't need to add new game was, bro. It's, everything is right in front of you, bro. It's right in front of you. Just open your eyes, bro. Meditate. Do some shit to make your eyes open and realize, EA, that everything you need is already in the game. It just needs to be better. You need to put more time into those features and we'll have a good game, bro. Y'all do not need to go on the fucking drawing board and come up with new game modes when y'all already have everything in front of you, bro. Y'all just gotta realize that everything is in front of you. You have the resources now use them don't go looking for more resources when you already have them in front of you bro come on bro I mean, it's gonna be the end of the video man i know i i know i was ranting and shit but you, you gotta know what i'm coming from man 
they don't realize that the resources are right in front of them, bruh. And please use the community. Y'all have these game changers, but you don't even use them. I, mean, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, bruh, because I bet you 100% that these game changers are actually pushing for change. But EA just doesn't listen to them. It's like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell is the point of a game changer program if y'all not actually listening to them, bruh? Come on, bro. But anyways, man, have a great day, guys. Everyone have a blessed day, man. Stay blessed, stay spiritual. I'll see you guys next time, bro. My voice has been iffy because I fucking hate allergies, but uh, please don't dislike the video if you disagree with me. Just go in the comment section, bro. Let's have a little debate. Let's have a little... Come on, man. It's 2020, bro. Let's talk this out. We don't have to be hating each other, bro. Come on, like, we're not be. You don't have to go World War Three in the fucking comment section. And start hating on each other, man. Come on, bro. Bring some peace and justice. Bring some peace and shit in the comment section, bro. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.